the collapse of a seven-story building under construction on First Avenue in the Banana Island area of Ikoyi, Lagos, has continued to generate reactions from Nigerians. This latest incident in an area believed to be home to many wealthiest Nigerians raises questions of the government's desire to address the building collapse menace. In an exclusive interview with Access 24, members of the Nigerian Institute of Building say the incident raises questions about professionalism in the sector and proper approval process for buildings. Something is wrong with either the processes of managing the construction or the methodology of delivering the work or the process the professionals, the roles that professionals play or did not play in the uh, work execution process. Question then is, how was that building approved for construction? Who approved it? What factors were taken into consideration? Are all the professionals that are supposed to put in their own efforts into the successful delivery of the project. Were they all involved? Did they do uh, any site investigation in terms of soil tests? Were the production drawings for that job done by the appropriate professionals? In the process of approval, did they check out for the expected uh, 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 involvement of the appropriate professional for that job. Professionals will say, once you are you are building a particular kind of building, especially multi-story buildings, or if your building is going beyond three floors, then you need to do a proper geotechnical survey of the soil. So for you to know what is the nature and the kind of uh, the, the soil that is there, this will help the architects in designing, this will help the structural engineers in their structural design. And this information will help the builders also you know, to be able to know the construction methodology and construction, uh, the, the building production system that they will engage in carrying out their activities. For these builders, proper enforcement of relevant building laws and prosecution of those found culpable will help to check this ugly trend. It is the weakness of government and our judiciary to not to have presented to the general public, this is what we have done to stop building collapse in terms of prosecuting those that are involved. Prosecuting those that are involved should be very clearly done, not just a collapse happens, you go there, you arrest everybody. That's what is called forensic investigation. It is this forensic investigation that will reveal the role that each stakeholder in that construction in that building project, played. There is national building code, which government has not given a legal, a legal battle, a legal challenge. Since, two, since 2003, this document has been there. Another administration is ending now, another one will be coming up. And we, still, we are still talking of, you know, national building code that is not being backed, you know, by relevant law. We've had the noise, we've had everything. What has happened? You know, no prosecution. No, nothing, because the relevant necessary uh, 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 laws and things like that are not there for government, to, for even government to do anything. And you see, when things happen, nobody gets a, a, a punish for it adequately in whichever way. You know, you will see that people will continue to practice it and believe that, oh, nothing will happen. A report in December 2022 by the Building Collapse Prevention Guild said at least 61 buildings collapsed across the Nigerian state in 2022. According to the report, Lagos State recorded 20 incidents, representing 48.7% of the entire cases in 2022.